Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi my name is Valentina. I'm a makeup lover and I like to test makeup products that look good on my acne texture skin and last all day. And for today's video I'm going to show you how I've created this makeup look by using some of my favorite makeup products. And I'm going to do a brow battle. I have the Anastasia Browies and the Benefit uh, Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I'm going to tell you which one I like more and why. And I also have some updates for the makeup uh, used in my previous previous videos. So if you like what you see and want to find out more then keep on watching. I already have my foundation on and I've used this Dior Forever in the shade 0N. I really like this foundation, lasts very well on me, covers everything very nicely and uh, look very pretty on my uh, texture skin. So this foundation is uh, one of my favorites at the moment. And for my concealer today I'm going to use this Dior Backstage. I have this concealer in the same shade as my uh, foundation uh, in uh, 0N. I've used this one before on my channel and uh, I've mentioned that uh, I'm not a big fan of this concealer because look a little bit cakey at the end of the day. So I have to be very careful and apply a very tiny amount of it and uh, blend it uh, very well but I like how brightening my under eyes look uh, with this one so I'm going to use it uh, on my under eyes and also as my eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to quickly set my concealer with this uh, Pat McGrath and Rye powder. This powder is so good, I can stop wearing this one. I like to use it on my under eyes, all over the face. I take this one with me everywhere. I had this powder for a few months and uh, I still have a lot in here. I highly recommend this one, it's tiny, you have quite a lot of product in here. You could take this one with you everywhere slight weight. The powder is very finely milled so uh, your makeup will not look uh, cakey. Everything will look very smooth. So I'm going to set my under eyes with this powder right now but I'm going to use it again later to set uh, everything in place uh, after I apply my uh, liquid blush. So look at the difference how uh, smooth uh, this under eye look. This powder is like magic. I really like it. Moving on to my blush, I'm going to use this uh, by Rare Beauty. I don't really know how to pronounce the shade that I'm using, but uh, I will list everything in the description box below, so you could find everything there. I like to be a little bit heavy handed with this blush because after I apply my powder I will lose some of the pigment but the finish will be very pretty and uh, soft so uh, might look a little bit crazy right now but um, will look good um, at the end. And I like to go over with my foundation brush to blend out the edges. I also like this one because uh, it's not emphasizing my texture, which is great. And uh, you have quite a lot of product in here. You could layer this as much as you want without any problems. So I think it's a great blush and it's not very expensive. So um, I definitely recommend you this one. Now that I finished with the cream products, I'm going to set everything in place by using this Pernograt under eye powder again. And moving on to my bronzer, I'm going to use this Glowish by Huda Beauty in the shade Light. I really like how long-lasting this bronzer is. I am not a big fan of the color, I don't think it's very good for my fair skin, but the bronzer is very good and it's not emphasizing any texture. and go over with my foundation brush to blend out the edges.
And to finish with the complexion products, I'm going to apply uh, my highlighter and uh, I'm going to use this one by Dior. This is Dior Backstage in the shade uh, 01 Universal and my favorite is this white glitter shade from here. And moving on to my eyebrows, I'm going to do a little uh, battle between uh, two very famous uh, eyebrow products. And I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Waze and the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. I've used the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in my last video for the first time. And I have the Anastasia Brow Waze for a few months now and uh, I know this one very well. So I want to do a little uh, battle between uh, these two and um, tell you which one I like more and why. I have to mention that uh, this is in the shade uh, taupe and uh, this precisely my brow pencil is in the shade 4. So uh, this one it's uh, darker than uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. So about the packaging, both have a spoolie at uh, one side and uh, on the other side is the actual uh, brow product. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills one for so long and uh, I still have a lot in here and I use this one almost every day. So it's nice that uh, this one lasts uh, a very long time. The Anastasia Beverly Hills has uh, 0 0.085 grams and uh, the Benefit Precisely My Brows 0 0.08 grams. So this one has more product uh, which is great. The tip is very slim on both uh, eyebrow products. I'm going to put them on the back of my hand see how they look. Anastasia Beverly Hills and uh, Benefit Precisely My Brow. It's very easy to draw hair-like strokes with both of these products. I'm not going to apply them side by side because um, I'll look crazy. So um, I'll use this one on the upper side of my eyebrow and uh, here and the Benefit one in here and to draw the hair-like strokes because this one is in a darker shade. So I'm going to quickly apply this to on my eyebrows. Now I will use the Benefit one. So this is how my eyebrows look uh, with this. In here I've used the Benefit to shape my eyebrows and I've used the Anastasia Browies um, like here on the upper side of my eyebrow. I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, on my everyday makeup look because I really like this uh, color top. I feel like it's very nice for every day. You could quickly fill in any gaps and uh, you are done. About the texture, they have similar texture, creamy gel formula and uh, both glides on very nicely. I feel like the spoolie on the brow is uh, very soft and uh, very easy to blend everything. I feel like this one is very stiff. So after using this for uh, quite some time, I have to say that uh, both are very long lasting, but I find the Anastasia one uh, more long lasting than the brow is. I feel like if I touch my eyebrows throughout the day uh, with the Benefit one, I uh, move everything there, but uh, I don't have any problems with the brow is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think uh, this one is waterproof and uh, I'm not very sure about this one. Maybe that's why it's more long lasting. So yeah, if I have to recommend you uh, one of these, I will recommend you the Anastasia Beverly Hills one because you have uh, more product in here. It's very lightweight and uh, the spoolie is great. It's waterproof, long lasting, and uh, I really trust this one for uh, events and uh, for those days when uh, I want my makeup to last and uh, to not 
worry about anything moving around or fading so i think uh, i covered everything with this tool and i like to set my eyebrows with this uh, benefit 24 hour brow setter i think this is the best eyebrow gel uh, ever And moving on to my eyes, I'm going to use this Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. This is mini nude eyeshadow palette. And I want to do something very quick and simple. So I'm going to start uh, with this shade all over the eyelids. And then I will use this uh, on the outer part of my eye. I like to pinch the brush and uh, apply some on my lower lash line. And use this uh, shade as my eyeliner. I'm going to apply off camera my mascara and something on my lips and I'll be right back. So this is the finished makeup look. For my mascara, I've used this Yves Saint Laurent Lash Clash Mascara. This is not my favorite mascara. It's not bad, but um, it's not my favorite. I'm not very impressed uh, about uh, how long lasting is this one. My lashes uh, will not stay the same uh, throughout the day. So it's very sad because it's a very pricey mascara. And on my lips, I've used the Pemograt Labs Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in uh, the shade Contour. And on top, uh, as uh, my lipstick, I've used this by uh, Rare Beauty again. Again, this uh, blush. I think that's everything for today. I would love to know in the comments down below if you like the finished makeup result and if you have uh, these eyebrow pencils and uh, which one you like. And also please let me know what would you like me to do in my future videos. I would love to know. So that's everything for today. I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you like it. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also ring the bell to be notified when I upload. I post every week, so make sure to hit the notification bell. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!